Good afternoon, folks. So, the hypocrisy just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Rules for you, not for me, says Miss Pelosi. You can get a major fine if you don't walk through the damn... Damn metal detector. Yeah, she avoids the metal detector, but yeah, everybody else has to walk through. I'm calling you out, Miss Pelosi. And as for you, Joe Biden, you keep, you want to put up $1,500. We're going to talk about a few things here today. About a lot of things. We're going to talk not only about you, Joe Biden, we're also going to talk about you, Bernie Sanders, about raising minimum wage, about how that affects us. He talked about foreign country money. All right. Preferably the Danish. Denmark, a.k.a. the Danish. Now... They call it the Danish Krone over there, not Euros, because it's kind of different over there. Now, I don't know if he meant meant 22 Danish Krones or 22 American dollars or nine dollars. There's so many different mathematical numbers that he put in there, so I'm trying to figure out how he meant that. Well, the minimum wage over there would be, is actually 16 American dollars. It's actually more than what they're proposing over here. So, if it's 16 American dollars, that is actually 99 Danish Krones and 38 cents. Okay. Now, if he meant 16 crones... Now, if he meant to say, like, 16 crones, that's only... Correct. Now, if he meant only 22 crones, as if how much a person makes over there, that's only $3.56. That's a major pay cut. Now... How much another part of the minimum wage they technically make? $17.80 because some other areas over there and some other providences make more. It's $17.80. That's 110 Danish Krones. So, it's a little more. Okay. And then another one he wanted was $20, which would be 123 Danish Crones and twenty and sixty one cents. And then there's twenty Danish Crones, which is something else that he that I'm not sure if he meant twenty dollar American dollars or twenty Danish Crones, but he put money by it, but he didn't really necessarily say is this American dollars or because some people can say dollars, but that doesn't necessarily mean American dollars. They just say twenty dollars. It doesn't necessarily mean that they mean American dollars. But if it means Danish crones, that's only three dollars and twenty four cents American money. And then twenty two Danish crones. Three dollars fifty six cents. How much McDonald's person makes over there? Nine dollars. I don't know if it now if it's nine dollars. American money, that's 55 Danish crones and 62 sinks. Now, if it's nine crones, nine Danish crones, that'd be $1.46. Major pay cut than what they already make right now. Now, let's do American money here, for instance. Danish crones. As of what, compared to our minimum wage, to national minimum wage right now. Current minimum wage, which is seven twenty five, would be 45 Danish crones and 3 cents. 
Now the high minimum wage, this is where I'm from, is eight eighty. Total Danish Crones is fifty four Danish Crones and sixty six cents. Now the proposed raise will be ninety three Crones, Danish Crones and seventeen cents. Which would be fifteen dollars. Or twenty two dollars is what Bernie wants. Twenty two dollars, which would be hundred thirty six dollars and hundred thirty six Danish crones and sixty five cents. I mean he's literally making something out of nothing here. Now, you raise the f you raise the numbers up compared to another. Let's do the math here. What good are we doing? We're not doing good. And what the Demipukes don't get is that's going to hurt the economy. Raising minimum wage is not going to help the economy. Yeah, all these numbers sound great. As if you put the $15 American money. They may sound great. But overall, it's going to hurt the economy because you got to raise prices for everything else in order to meet standards like the fire service because someone that pays less than $15, they're going to have to raise prices so they can overlap the $15 minimum wage. Because who wants to work for less than minimum wage? Minimum wage is technically the bottom number of everything. I mean, look, gosh, pipeline workers who were laid off, they paid more than minimum wage. <laughs> and let's see here. Who else paid more than minimum wage? Um, firefighters? Police officers? I could go on and on about who paid more than minimum wage. That's literally how it all comes down to. You go down to one, two, three, four. It goes down to the four basics. So, now on to my little format with history. On to the revol still in the Revolutionary War. General George Washington on the dollar bill. What does he got to do with it? A lot. He brought the element of surprise at Trenton. The Hessians pretty much were asleep. He caught the Hessians with their trousers down. He attacked the area. They weren't even expecting anything to happen. The Hessians were pretty much well asleep. After he crossed the Delaware River, he walked over to Trenton. Pretty much well attacked them. Hessians weren't ready. General Howe killed, uh, died of his wounds shortly afterward. Pretty much will dampened everything they had. So what does this tell you? A lot. <coughs> Gotta go with the math, people. And then, his major success... Yorktown. The Battle of Yorktown. With the help of the French, General Rochambeau, of the French, and Admiral Comte de Gras, who helped seize the Battle of the Chesapeake, which didn't allow any more British troops to come in. That was part of General Charles Cornwallis's plan, was to have more British troops come in to reinforce them. Because he was running low on reinforcements. But without reinforcements, he surrendered. And that was pretty much what ended the landing campaign. George Washington, and then he went on to become one of the, the first president. Victory. Pretty much, well, British troops still seem to be lackluster. General Lord Cornwallis surrendered. Everybody surrendered. There. All troops, all, pretty much a lot of British troops surrendered. 
including Lord Cornwallis himself. So, with that, we're going to go through each war about who the famous generals were as I keep talking. <laughs> well, I'm out of here. Peace.